Like anyone, uh, no one wants to pay too much tax and wherever possible it's great to minimise tax where we can um, from a, you know, obviously a legal point of view. But reducing our tax bill or paying no tax at all is sometimes a bit of a national pastime. Now, I believe paying tax is a good thing. It, it does mean that you're making money and you're profitable, so no one should ever be afraid from paying tax. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about you know, getting tax deductions and some of the lengths that people go to and what I've seen over the years um, that people chase tax deductions extremely hard and go to extraordinary lengths to do so. Um, and I wanted really just to show what a tax deduction is worth. Now the the tax system in Australia, if you get a, a tax deduction of one dollar, um, it doesn't save you a dollar and fifty cents. It only saves you the marginal tax rate. Now I've got the tax rates here that you may not be able to see too well, uh, but we'll put them on the screen just in case. You can't, but you can see we've got a, a tiered um, tax system. So between zero dollars and 18,200 of the you earn in income each year, that's taxed at 0%, um, 18,200 up to 37,000, you pay 21%, uh, that's including the 2% Medicare, and then 37,000 up to $80,000, that's where you pay 345 80,000 up to 180, it goes to 39%, and then anything over one $180,000, it's taxed at um, 47%. So at no point will the government ever take off, take more than 50% of what you earn. So when we get a tax deduction, and, and I've seen a lot of people take on huge amounts of debt um, to you know, negatively gear a property, and as I've said before, I've made a fair few comments and a few videos on negative gearing that uh, it essentially means you are losing money each year each and every year on an investment um, and you know for me that doesn't make a huge amount of sense um, but yeah, if you do get a tax deduction and you're in a marginal tax rate between 37,000 and 80,000 um, for the financial year that one dollar tax deduction will save you 34.5 cents in the dollar so you're spending a dollar to save 34.5 cents now for me that makes no sense um, that to lose money each year um, you know, means that that investment absolutely has to go up. Now I've also seen some people say to me, so, oh look we've had a good year so we had to buy a, a new car or a new ute for, uh, to help reduce our tax. Now for me that makes absolutely zero uh, common sense that you've bought an asset that the day you drive it out of the showroom it's going to decline by you know 10% straight off the bat. Within two years a, uh, you know, the valuation of this second hand car is going to come down you know, very hard. So whatever people think they're saving in terms of tax, the depreciation of that particular vehicle is uh, going to well outweigh any, any small tax advantage that you've got. So please remember the only saving you get from a tax deduction is at your, you know, the marginal tax rate. So it's the old spend a dollar to save 30 cents uh, approach. So never go you know, make purchases, particularly ones you don't need, um, to chase a tax deduction. Be very wary of taking on high levels of debt to be negatively geared to chase a tax deduction. Because at the end of the day, the government will never give you, you know, if you spend a dollar for a tax deduction, they'll never give you a dollar fifty back. It'll only be that percentage tax rate depending on your marginal tax rate. Thanks for listening.